It's <laughs> Easton Corbin. Hi, welcome. Hello, guys. How are you doing? We're doing great. We are so glad to have you with us. We're going to go back <laughs> to, uh, what it was, in March 2010. A little while back. Yeah, <laughs> your life just changed so massively after uh, you released your self-titled album. And, and right off the bat, you had two back-to-back number one hits. Something that, was it Clay Walker? I think it was Clay Walker who had uh, been the, the most recent person to have achieved that. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, it's a huge honor and, uh, you know, it's a huge blessing and and it's one of those things that uh, I'll be forever, ever grateful for. How fast and drastically did your life change from being a farm boy to being a country superstar after those two number one back-to-back hits? Well, I mean, it changed quite a bit as far as, you know, like traveling and things like that, not being home a whole lot. Definitely one of those things that uh, was a little bit of a change for me, but, you know, again, it, it, it's a good thing. I've heard that you've stayed very humble and uh, grounded and uh, don't forget your roots. And I don't know how many people realize this, but uh, farm is really important to you. You were actually at one time a member of Future Farmers of America, and then you teamed up with Ram Truck for their their year of the farmer. I think we all remember that commercial, God Made a Farmer. Yeah, I grew up on a small uh, beef cattle farm, and uh, you know, I grew up showing cattle through 4-H and FFA, and actually have an ag degree from the University of Florida, and yeah, it's been a very important part of my life, and uh, you know, I love agriculture and that whole lifestyle, and uh, it's very fortunate to, that Ram came to me about working with, uh, with them and the FFA to promote their year of the farmer and uh, make people aware of farming families and that farming way of life and that's the root of you know where we all come from and, and what keeps America going so uh, you know that's, uh, that's a very important thing to me. And you were actually able to help present Future Farmers of America with a million dollar check. I sure did so that was a big honor. Well let's talk about what new is going on in your life Easton you say you have some new music tell us a little bit about that. Well, we got a brand new single uh, it's called Are You With Me and uh, it's actually really not a brand new song it's one that I had on my second record uh, not all over the road and uh, I love this song so much and I wanted it to be a single so much that the label kind enough to let me include it on my latest record. It's one of my favorite songs that I've ever recorded and uh, it actually, uh, I guess a DJ over in Europe actually heard the thing at some point and uh, it did an actual EDM remix of it. Who inspired you growing up country music wise? Well, my biggest three heroes is Merle Haggard, George Jones, mm. Keith Whitley. You are just one stand-up guy and we just thank you for all that you do and all the ways that you give back. It's nice to know that you still remember where you came from and you haven't forgotten that. Uh, 